coming up in this read. A lot of things are going to be changing up for you in the month of May, Taurus. Um, so get comfortable. Get comfortable with the prospect of change. Okay. Your life is going to look very, very different over the next four weeks. Taurus, we're doing a general read for the month of May 2023. Everything that you need to know you can find in my description box and in my pinned comment below, including a list of the card decks that I've used for your reading. Please do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, especially if you're cross-watching. If a part of the message doesn't resonate for you, then you just leave that bit of the message for somebody else, okay? Also as well, a very happy birthday to our Taurus Collective who is celebrating this month. I uh, hope you have a lovely time. Right, so what's coming in towards you for the month of May? The Shark, Survival and Power. Okay, um, so you're starting off the month of May with a bit of a bang then, Taurus. Uh, you're not being subtle, not even close with this shark energy, okay? You're literally keeping your focus on your target, right? Whatever your target is. It could be another person, it could be a career, it could be a house, anything, right? Whatever, whatever your target is, you've got tunnel vision towards it, right? This is saying for you to keep moving forward and to keep the forward momentum at a good speed as well okay so any any uh minor speed bumps along the way just keep going keep going keep going okay um so card of determination right this can also indicate how you feel that somebody is out to get you right or that someone around you is behaving in a really suspicious manner okay there could be competition. Now, these readings, I'm not going to lie, Taurus, they're all coming out like hidden enemies readings, okay? So I'm going to try and incorporate that into everyone's title this month. So, like, you're actually going to get two titles to your readings, okay, if I can fit it in. Um, everyone's dealing with this bullshit this month. I don't know why, right? It it just is coming out and it's coming out and it's coming out. It's coming out in the private reads as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very prolific for the month of May especially, right? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Certain people have got it out for others, right? And it seems to be that the collective is going through this, okay? So you're not being singled out, Taurus. This is a collective issue, right? So really, really important that you keep it moving, right? And keep it moving at good speed. Okay, what else is coming in towards our Taurus Collective, please? Ooh, the coins, luck and money, wealth, fortune, abundance. Beautiful. We like money <laughs> and we like it for you because you are Taurus. You're literally about the money, the values, possessions, income, assets, property. But the word value is what we're putting focus on here. This is all about what is it that you value? What do you put value on? Okay. What else for Taurus, please? So I'm just pulling the surface level energy at the moment, Taurus, and then we take a deeper dive into it with the tarot. Okay. Right. You've got the bride, wife and engagement. Okay. Somebody could be getting engaged. Uh, somebody could be getting married. Oh, look, you've got the groom. <laughs> How funny. Husband and marriage. Okay. So we've got the masculine principle and the feminine principle. Um... If you're currently single, Taurus, you will not be single for long. We see a couple coming into union here. If you're already in a union with someone, then that relationship is going to go up to the next level. Okay. Um, now, funnily enough, the way that these cards have come out, and I'll just show you. They got their backs to each other with the way that they've come out. So you might not necessarily be seeing eye to eye with a significant other right now. 
for those of you where that rings true, that's temporary. That is temporary. You you are going to be coming to an agreement with each other. Okay. So any any rifts, it's going to be minor. All right. Okay. Let's take a deeper dive into this. What's going on for our Taurus Collective, please? There could be a business partnership on the go as well. With that couple, the coins and the shark. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic message. You temporarily might not be seeing eye to eye with a business partner. Uh, you could be telling them that what they're doing um, with the assets right now is not a good idea, for example. You know, keep an open mind. Energy is really, 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 really fluid. You can clarify the shark for our Taurus Collective. The page of coins. Okay, so you've got something coming in. It's like a small offering. Um, it could be it could be a job offer for some of you. It might not be the job that, that you were wanting, but it looks like you're going to be taking it on for the short term. Okay, that there's definitely a message of short term with this page of coins. Um, so it's kind of like grin and bear it because it's not going to be forever. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's something that you have to take on just to tie you over in the meanwhile, okay? Again, we'll take a deeper dive into it. All right, I'm going to clarify all of this. You can clarify the uh, coins, three of cups, the moon, and the two of wands. Okay, for your luck and money. Um, mm. Something to do with dealing with multiple people here with the Three of Cups. Um, someone's afraid that something's not going to work out. That could be you, Taurus. That could be your business partner if there is one. We've got someone who's needing to at least pick a direction and start moving in that direction because at the moment something is is kind of in limbo with this energy. It's like one of you has got the drive and the determination to take action towards something and then the other one's kind of like dragging their heels. Okay. I don't know what that's about. I can only read the energy, okay? Someone's dragging their heels and I don't I don't think that that's you taught us. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. Um it doesn't feel like you it feels like you're the one that's ready and someone else isn't. Clarify the bride. The tortoise, please. The ten of coins. One of the apex cards. Long-term stability, commitment, longevity. is generations and generational wealth. Uh, build, building up to something. Feeling very accomplished. Feeling very proud of what it is that you've accomplished. Uh, wanting to protect your ten of coins, which is your house, your home, your family. Anything and everything that you place value on is what you're protecting. Someone, it's almost like someone's saying, oh, you're being melodramatic. Oh, you're this, that and the next. And you're like, no, I'm telling you, something's going on. Something's going on. Why aren't you listening to me? Why aren't you believing me? Why, why is it unrealistic? Do you know what I mean? It's like you're trying at the moment to compromise with an individual who is being a bit deaf to what it is that you're saying it's like they, they're not sharing the same concerns that, that you've got for whatever reason okay clarify the groom you have to bear in mind Taurus these reads don't make any sense to me at all okay because it's not energy that I'm in it's not energy that I recognize so I, I, I try and um, decode what it is that the energy is coming through and telling me and what it is the cards are telling me. Um, so it, it is funny. It's really difficult to explain. Uh, the Eight of Swords to clarify the groom. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not necessarily the man. OK, don't get stuck on gender. It's just the polarization, as you know, is the polarization of the feminine or the masculine principle of energies. OK, whoever is identifying as being more in their masculine energy right now is certainly contemplating a lot of things with this eight of swords. OK, remember, it's the card of a mental prison. So they're overanalyzing. Why am I under the impression that some of you are dealing with a Virgo or someone who is a Virgo moon? Um, they're overanalyzing something and they're not looking at what it is that they're supposed to be looking at. So it's like they're, they're worried about the wrong thing right now. Do you know what I mean? It's like whatever this masculine is thinking about, that's something way, way, way off in the distant future. And they need to be looking at something that, that you're trying to guide them towards that is in the immediate, the, the present moment. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you, you're trying to get them to see sense here with something. Yeah, it's five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. So they're too caught up in their own feelings at the moment to understand the, the full gravity of what it is that you're trying to tell them. Um, they're, they're far too much in their feelings and I'm getting the impression that probably they may be feeling sorry for themselves here as well because something didn't quite work out so they, they, they've got a tight grip on that thing that didn't quite work out and you're like that to them look, change your focus um, but they're not they're not going to <laughs> so Taurus, you're, you're not in control of that okay what you are in control of is this up here, your, your shark energy, survival power, your luck, money, coins, and of course yourself, okay? Well, that's the things that you are in control of. So Spirit's saying, okay, Taurus, look, you, you've tried your best with this individual at the moment. You're just going to have to leave them be. Even though you don't want to, you're just going to have to leave them be, let them get on with it. OK, again, I don't know if this is about a business partner or a romantic partner or a friend or just a member of your family. It could be resonating any any way. It might not even be resonating with you at all right now. So do keep in mind that these reads are oftentimes predictive. So they're not necessarily going to resonate for you straight away. OK, you always, always, always need to keep an open mind with tarot. Especially if you watch a lot of tarot. Okay, you have to keep it up in mind. What's going on? For our Taurus Collective, please. You can clarify the shark and... Oh, yay, yay. Okay. Um, the coffin. It's eighth house energy. Uh, the child, the tree, the mountain and judication. Um, a way of life is ending here. I feel this is a message about um, a loss of innocence. Page of shock. Ah, uh, okay. Side message. Again, this is way, way, way too specific. So it's absolutely not going to fucking resonate for everybody. Okay. Um, bear with me a minute. This is a bonus message for a tiny, tiny handful of Tyrians. A way of life is ending because somebody is about to become a parent and they're worried about how they're going to support that child. They're worried about the finances uh, and they're like, shit, I found out I'm pregnant or I found out my partner's pregnant and I don't feel like I'm at that time in my life right now where I can be responsible for another human being. Do you know what I mean? Like th th There is a strong message about surviving and survivability and spirit saying, look, you'll find a way, you'll cope, you'll manage because you are strong enough. Okay. If everybody had this uh, thing... Uh, about, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely at a place in my life that I want to be before I have a, a child, then do you know what? Nobody would have babies. Um, 
oftentimes you will find that that life it to quote Jurassic Park it finds a way <laughs> do you know what I mean it's not always within your control things happen life happens uh, so if you are one of these that has found yourself in that situation I know it's really really different because I'm in the UK and say if you're in America it's going to be completely different and I can absolutely understand why you would have really, really strong reservations about having a, a child before you feel that you're financially ready for one. Like, I'm, I'm not completely blind to what's going on in the rest of the world, okay? Trust me on that. Um, but like, even so, the message is the same. It's like, you will absolutely find a way you will. You just, you won't even know how. You just make it work. And it, it sounds horrible and patronizing and like, I get it. I understand. Okay. But by the same token, I'm not in charge of the messages that come out of this read. Okay. Do not shoot your messenger. Someone's really stressed at the moment because they found out a baby's on the way. I don't know how I'm going to cope. And Spirit's saying, we're here. We've got your back. We're right fucking beside you. Don't freak out. Don't panic. We've got you and you've got this. Right? Um, it It's a strange one as well because there's, it seems to be that there's like a, a judgment that's being made or some kind of battle that's going on. Uh, for you Taurus and it feels like a separate issue it feels like there's a family at odds with each other it might end up in a court situation so you can get your final judgment on that family uh, argument disagreement whatever that is um, so it's like on one hand you've got part of your family is falling apart and then on the other hand a part of your family is in creation so I'm seeing in this energy that there is a Turian who is currently building their own family while their family of origin is falling apart. Um, interesting messages. Okay, clarify the coins, the three of cups, the moon and the two of wands our beautiful Taurus collective please what's going on thank you toil and labor change and the whip right um it's that moon and you are a fixed sign as well okay um spirit saying there is hard work ahead right and it's saying, how how much are you willing to sacrifice so you can get what it is that, that you're wanting out of life? Okay, again, I know it sounds really patronizing. I don't know what's going on with the messages today, Taurus. Um, I can't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Honestly, I, I can't help what's coming out of the spread, right? Um, how much... Are you willing to sacrifice to get this success and also evaluate is the potential sacrifice going to be worth it okay so is it going to be worth your time is it going to be worth your effort well you don't know until you try Do you know again sorry I'm, I'm really sorry about the messages that's coming out but that's it, in a nutshell. Uh, can you clarify the bride and the ten of coins, please? It, you're being told you've got every chance of being incredibly successful with your endeavours. You've got the clouds, confusion, uncertainty. It feels like the confusion is actually moving away, though. It feels like there is going to be clarity here for you. Um, that can also indicate change. So you're, you're afraid of the change. You're uncertain of the change. And Spirit's saying, hold on, Taurus. Stop panicking. This change is actually really, really positive. And we do have, um, in astrology, not in astronomy, 
we do have Saturn in Pisces at the moment. And that's literally all about things being cleared away so the new stuff can come in. And when the, the old is being brushed away, swept away or whatever, it can feel really, really destructive with Saturn in Pisces. It can feel really destructive. But ultimately, this is what's going to set you up for life for the next 20 or 30 years. So that's why it's very, very deep rooted. That's why it's uh, going right into your past. And all the, the dross of the past that, that was keeping you uh, a metaphorical prisoner. That's, that's what's being cleared away for everybody with this Saturn in Pisces. Because it's, um, it, it's helping you to, to clear the air so you can lay the groundwork for the next 20 or 30 years. That's why it's so intense. Clarify the groom with the Eight of Swords, please. Okay. Yeah, the sun and the star. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like whoever is currently heavy in this masculine energy, they're struggling to see the blessings that are right in front of them for certain some someone like th this person here is they've got too much focus on what it is that they have lost and it feels like a recent loss there, there's too much emphasis that's being put on that that they're not seeing the blessings that is right in front of them with this sun and the star whoever that is is going to need time to process everything and then they'll be able to see the wood for the trees. Yeah, you've got concern at the bottom of the deck. Um, they're not able to find their optimism. They're, they're just not feeling it right now. Which is fair enough. Sometimes you just need to let other people be in that moment and feel what they need to feel in that moment and uh, make sure that they know that, that you're waiting for them on the other side of the door type thing. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes that's just the best that you can offer. Uh, clarify the shark with the page of coins. The Empress, Divine Feminine, that's Taurus and Libra energy. Uh, the creator, the, the nurturer. This is literally a card of abundance. Excuse me. I was trying to burp very, very quietly so it wouldn't be picked up on the microphone. It took a lot of concentration. This is literally all of the four queens in one embodiment. Okay, and again, don't focus on gender. It's not, it's not about gender. So it's the Queen of Swords, it's the Queen of Cups, it's the Queen of Wands, and it's the Queen of Coins, all in one embodiment, okay? It's someone who at the moment is incredibly powerful, and they're fully embracing their power, and planting seeds for that future, nurturing those seeds, looking after them. This indicates a happy conclusion to matters, okay? It's a promise of good rewards for your hard work and your efforts. It's very, very creative energy. It can also be a mother. So the main thing that I'm pulling from this Taurus is someone has sworn to themselves that they will never be. And this again. This is specific only for those who have come from a difficult background. Someone has sworn that they'll never ever be like their mother. That they were not going to carry on trauma to the future generations, right? For others of you, that this is basically you stepping into your empress energy, okay? Some of you could be self-employed also. 
and you're finding a way of making that work with your current family situation. The Ace of Water, so that's the Ace of Cups to clarify your luck, money and coins energy. Yeah. You're going to be very, very happy throughout the month of May, Taurus. I feel that this, this is you having all of your needs being met. And again, you, you've, got, you've got backup here. You've got a lot of spiritual backup. It's compassion, unconditional love. Um, yeah, more water energy. This one's the Knight of Water. So that's the Knight of Cups. Um, that can usually be an offering. It can be a romantic offering. We've got someone here that is showing you a lot of love, kindness, generosity, respect. It's a nice, gentle, soft energy. And it's saying that this individual, wh whoever it is, that's showing you this love and this, this softness and this compassion is helping you to, to realize that you are completely deserving of love. They're, they're helping to shift away those clouds. So if anyone was feeling like they, they were just completely unlucky in love, this, that, and the next, and, you know, just felt like their love life was a complete loss. You've got this person coming in, and they're completely blowing that theory right out of water. And they're, they're showing you the way that you should have always have been treated right from the get-go. Hmm... Clarify the groom with the eight of swords, please. <laughs> the ace of air. The ace of swords. Someone is absolutely being proposed to here. Mm-hmm. But some of you, not all of you, definitely. Someone's getting engaged. And this, this masculine energy, it's like they, they were putting it off for a while because they were dealing with other things. And it's almost like that they didn't want to tarnish the relationship or the connection with you with whatever this awfulness it was that, that was going on for them. That they weren't wanting to tarnish what they've got with you. Yeah, the eight of fire, action, determination, messages coming straight towards you, Taurus. And it feels urgent as well. The, this, this individual is urgently wanting to speak to you. I'm certain of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the page of water under there. It's a page of cups. An apology. Asking you for your forgiveness. You showing kindness and understanding. Wow. Clarify this Empress, please. The Taurus. The Six of Wands. Literally the Lord of Victory, joy, success, celebration, you getting the pay rise, you getting the accolades, getting a lot of attention, having a lot of people looking at you, admiring you. Really? The Empress with the Six of Wands? It couldn't, it couldn't get any better than that. For those of you who are currently working on your business endeavours... They are going to be incredibly popular and successful because you're bringing something different from your competitors. You're definitely going to stand out from the crowd. Can you clarify 
the Ace of Cups, please. Something just flip. Also, you've got two aces on the table. Partnerships. Good news on the way. Oh, look, the Five of Swords in reverse and the Page of Cups in the upright position to clarify your Ace of Cups. Huh. I'm feeling here with this that somebody... <clears throat> Somebody's going to be uh, telling you, Taurus, that at one point they had some kind of lingering resentment here towards you, um, but they're, they're not feeling that anymore. It's definitely a reconciliation of some kind, right? Somebody's making amends for you here, and they're putting their past resentments to bed, okay? Because they're sick and tired of feeling, I want to say feeling like a reject. Um... It's a really interesting energy because, again, I don't fully know what this is, all right, what it is that's gone on. But there's definitely someone apologizing to you because at some point they made you feel really crap. Okay, I, I, I don't know why, I don't know how. They just, they, they made you feel like crap at some point and they're, they're regretting it. They're wanting to apologize. They, they don't want you to resent them. All right. Okay. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. It sounds like they had their own issues to deal with, Taurus, and they might have taken it out on you at some point in time. The Nine of Cups wish fulfillment, contentment, um, feeling satisfied. That can also be a celebration of some kind as well. So like it could be an engagement party, something like that. All of your dreams coming true. So if you're at the Nine of Cups, someone else is coming towards you as a Knight of Cups and they're carrying a cup. That's the Tenth Cup. That's the Tenth Cup. So that indicates that that is somebody that, that you do love dearly. Can you tell us more about this, please, for Taurus? Ooh, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Coins off balance. Okay. Um, ten of Coins off balance. Be mindful of potentially a family member letting you down throughout the month of May. They might go back on their word. They might break a promise. They might forget something and it could really, really upset you. But this, but it's saying like, like, don't take it personally because it's them telling you who they are. They're not saying anything about who you are. They're, they're revealing to you who they are as a person. Someone's revealing themselves to be very closed minded and selfish. And it's not a failure on your part. It's like... Someone's not acknowledging your your happiness and, and your progression. It it's like they're they're sort of brushing it off like it's nothing. Like it's no big deal. And it is a big deal. It's a huge deal. It's a huge deal because this is life changing stuff that's happening to you right now. Like really massive, massive achievements that's happening for you. And this memory of, of your family somewhere is just like, oh whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's like they're they're downplaying your success. So spirit saying don't take that personally. Clarify the ace of air, please, for Taurus. <laughs> Another ace of air, the ace of swords. Ace of swords times two. Beautiful. A breakthrough. Revelation. Truth. Clarity. Uh, wow. 
with your sharp minds and I feel that that's a message about you and your partner if there is one that could be business partner also you're putting your sharp minds together you're bouncing a lot of ideas off each other this indicates victory and triumph okay especially with the two ace of air clarified with an ace of swords literally the same card that's victory and triumph mental clarity also with this one okay and determination and clarity of thought it's like you're both thinking clearly both of you there there is not going to be any room for any kind of misunderstandings okay that this is you and your person whoever they are being nothing but truthful open and honest with each other it's total clarity it's total trust as well what else please for Taurus <laughs> renewing your life look at that pushing the clutter off the edge of the cliff radiant vitality is filling my life yeah yeah so you're doing away with anything that is unnecessary right now right that can be thoughts that can be things um it can be the attitudes of other people as well dwelling in truth i stand in the light of truth exactly you don't get the ace of swords coming out in a read for nothing that's literally got truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth written all over it, you know. What else, please, for Taurus? Okay. Aphrodite, the inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. Mm hmm yep your worth and your value is never placed on someone else's opinion okay unleash your inner god or goddess it's under the rhiannon sorceress you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality yeah exactly that's pretty much what's going on here with your energy Taurus you're manifesting exactly everything that you would set your intentions on what else for Taurus please a lot of things are going to be changing up for you in the month of May Taurus um so get comfortable get comfortable with the prospect of change okay your life is going to look very very different over the next four weeks and it's a good thing all right I, I know that most people's minds immediately jumps to the most negative thing whenever the word change is mentioned right it's perfectly natural people don't like change because it pulls up a lot of uncertainty and trust me when I say there's positive change here. Address your addictions. Okay, so are there any unhealthy habits that you're clinging on to at the moment, Taurus, that is needing to be <laughs> decluttered, pushed off that cliff? Okay, because now is the time for you to be addressing that. And then nurture yourself first. Yeah, exactly. So... Any new habits that are formed <clears throat> right now, any new things that come into your life right now, remember you're going to be carrying that forward for the next 20 or 30 years. Okay. Interesting reads, uh, but that is what I have for you, Taurus. It's up to you what you do with this reading. Please remember that tarot is not a scapegoat. It is not a crutch. It's a guide, and you're the one that's in charge of your destiny. It is also not your tarot reader's fault what comes out in your reading. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.